Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I'm Sovereign. Today we're back in Infinite Lagrange for the weekly patch notes. There's quite a lot of stuff going on. Corvettes and fighters are getting a bit of a buff for their damage and how quickly they're actually taken out into the field. Some of their attack intervals have been lowered on some of those Corvettes slash fighters. There will be a new event starting. It's called the Proxima Centauri Day Event. So prior to the discovery of lag rage points, warp drives can only propel a ship at a speed reaching one tenth of the light. Of that of light. Can't even read right now. The exploration journey back then was very hard. According to records, it took 60 years to complete the four light year journey to Proxima Centauri by engaging warp drives for the first time. In memory of the first batch of fearless pioneers, the arrival day is celebrated as Proxima Centauri Day. Definitely gotta be a reason why it's got the same name as currency. With their exploration, spirit lived on for generations to come. After the maintenance ends, the Proxima Centauri Day event will open from the 29th of September to October 5th, during which you can obtain a reward every day by logging in besides delivery journey to fearless is on sale for a limited time during the event now we haven't got any other information on what you'll actually get daily it's likely gonna be some maybe some crates maybe some proximal coins so you can buy some crate livery stuff etc etc i don't see it being anything more than that at least for now so the callisto is getting its attack duration changed to 16 seconds from 12 seconds and it's getting a dps nerf from 15,272 per minute to 14,000 per minute and the hp of the primary weapon system to 5000 from 7000 so the callisto is taking a little bit of hit on the nerf bat and that is going to be exactly the same for the heavy torp for the heavy torpedo raid ship variant of the callisto and the cluster obviously as we said before and the heavy uav cruiser is also taking a little bit of a nerf the red beast the cvm 11 the cellular defender the void elfin have all got bonuses and buffs to their dps making them slightly more viable i'm not sure why they buffed the red beast that thing's already one of the strongest bloody corvettes in the game they've also adjusted the module effect in the solar whale to actually heal aircraft when they return to the hangar for 10 percent of their hp so that makes it quite a nice little addition there especially if they have any aircraft even though that doesn't really work 99 percent of the time the eternal storm the attack battle cruiser has had its anti-aircraft firepower adjusted from 2400 to 3600 per minute it's so hard to read these bloody patch notes they're just a wall of text and it's got all of these it's just ridiculously hard to read for me anyway i don't know about you guys and they've changed some of the energy compensation armor 15 percent energy weapon reduction and projectile weapon damage is now taking 15 percent reduced crit damage received now if you want to actually look at all this i will leave a link in the description for you for the infinite lagrange discord so you guys can jump in and check it all out and make sure you can get all those numbers ready because it's like as you can see it's a bit of a nightmare to actually read it all they've adjusted the survival rating of the carillion special frigate 2s from a its combat performance has been unchanged it's just a little bit of a look see because it is in fact survival rating is definitely an s they've adjusted the anti-aircraft rating in for the Constantine the Great, the multi role battle cruiser, none to A from B to A, with its combat performance unchanged. Again, I have another just visual thing going on there. Adjusted the effect brought by the enhancement option armor rigidity enhancement for armor system of, of the Noma 330. The high speed armed survey ship increases physical resistance by three. They've optimized the performance description of some blueprints. They've added info displays of attack duration per round for some weapon systems. They've optimized the primary fire display of anti-ship anti-aircraft and siege firepower for weapon systems and they've optimized the description of attack interval so you're better to be able to calculate everything that needs to be done they've opened new street areas in the pioneers port of the city of antonis in the hub star system for those that are in between seasons and they've added new quests issued by space cities they've got a few little bug fixes going on they fixed an issue where fleets couldn't properly complete some quests after being deployed to the destination they fixed an issue where the stats of firepower provided by some siege anti-aircraft uavs were displayed incorrectly with their combat performance unchanged it's just another visual fix they fixed an issue that caused the display of anti-aircraft support range from some weapons with no anti-aircraft support capabilities with their actual performance unchanged again this is all for, i'm not going to say that anymore it's just the combat performance is unchanged for the rest of these fixes they revised the model label for the carillion special frigate it's now special type from anti-aircraft type they fixed the description of the enhancement option active anti-missile interception for the light cone and they fixed an issue that caused 
stores the incorrect weapon module name of the NT1 military UAV for the Eternal Storm with its actual effects unchained. Not much has really been added there today. I would like to see some more changes, maybe some new additions. I would definitely like them to push more effort into the anti-aircraft abilities of ships, maybe something to do with the targeting, maybe more damage. They're on the right track and there has been the past couple of weeks where they have done a lot of changes towards the Corvettes and anti-fighter damage and anti-aircraft damage. So we're on the right direction there at least. So make sure to remember the Proxima Centauri Day event starts on the 29th. That is tomorrow if you're watching this video today, which is the 28th, obviously. I will leave the link for the Discord in the description so you can check out the patch notes yourself. I want to thank you all for watching. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.